Welcome back to RD Cloud Compute. In this video, we'll cover how to submit a job to HPC, Microsoft HPC 2019 cluster. So previously we covered how to install and configure the HPC head node and compute nodes. We'll now see how to submit an application or a job to the HPC, Microsoft HPC uh, compute nodes. Run, uh, run them parallelly on a multiple uh, nodes, multiple core systems. So, in this for this, I am going to use the uh, physical uh, uh, application. The physical is an open source cell simulator. I have covered in another video how to install this. So, the physical supports by default uh, high performance computing. On uh, it can be run on parallelly multi on multiple systems. So make sure your application is hpc compatible it uh, and so uh, i got the physical binaries the code downloaded and extract, extracted everything into a folder so and so since this binaries will be used across multiple uh, uh, compute nodes uh, head nodes so uh, what i'm going to do is what i'm going to do is i'll share this uh, folder as a network uh, File file share, file share. So, so uh, this is the physical binary folders I have. Just I, I got everything shared already. I, I already created a file share. I uh, shared it, this folder as a file share, and I'm since it is using it in my lab setup. I'm got, got everyone a full a read access to this folder. So you make sure uh, uh, you don't have to give everyone uh, access. So you just have to just make sure that HPC administrators and the HPC user accounts have a full admin access on this folders. So I got the second node HPC 02. So I'm going to make a HPC 02. I, I will make sure as my the administrator account which I'm going to use is got has a full access to this folder. Okay. So that this is the account I'm going to use uh, to run and uh, uh, submit the jobs and uh, uh, HPC will be running uh, using this as an install account. So this, okay, let's make sure the share is accessible, HPC01, yeah, I have a PC cell binary shared, okay, okay, just I'll launch a command prompt and make sure I'll compile a project, a uh, physical project so that that can be run uh, uh, to configure to run on HPC. So let's change the directory. Okay. Let me clean the existing project. Make data cleaner. Okay, make reset project. Okay, I cleared all my existing project, physical project, so I'm gonna make list projects so I got this default uh, uh, sample projects from physical so I'm just gonna use one of the simple project okay make so this com creating binaries for for the HPC for your application might be different but I'm um, this is these are the steps for the physical uh, binary creation so, okay let's make so at the end of this process it creates a exe uh, that can be uh, used in uh, configured to run jobs in hpc okay executable the executable file has been created under the, this path as the executable name is by robots so now we should be able to see this executable in this location. Yep, it's created. So let's go back to the HPC and 
configure this as a job so go to launch the hpc cluster manager and go to the job management tab so on the right hand side or click on the anywhere in the uh, right uh, you should be able to get a new job or copy the existing jobs here so i'm just it's first time we're gonna click on the new job so give a job name bio Okay, leave the job templates and everything default. So the core, how many, whether, what type of resource this job uh, going to utilize, whether gonna number of cores or sockets, node, GPU. So I'm going to use, leave it to the core. And here you can uh, mention how many uh, CPUs minimum and maximum this job can utilize. Let's say I need minimum one CPU and, and maximum of 10, this can use, but, uh, uh, if you are not sure just leave it to auto calculate the system will be used uh, 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 choose this number of cpus required okay if your job uh, is not compatible on running parallel on multiple nodes uh, if, uh, then just select this run this entire job on a single node okay i'm um, just move to the next edit task so uh, here you add this multiple uh, tasks let's say you have some pre uh, you since pre uh, before uh, your start job starts you want to do some cleanups or you want to create some folder structures or do some backups kind of things you can add the pre and post task uh, jo job tasks here and let's see add so this will be robot let's say so this is the working directory so in the working directory you mentioned this uh, the binary where the binary is the binary shares so it's better to use the uh, the network share location instead of the local path so so that the, all the compute nodes can access them uh, from the network file share or you can copy the job uh, binaries on all the uh, compute nodes uh, uh, and then use the local path pick, uh, compute nodes to pick up the binaries from the local path but you have to make sure your binaries are up to date on all the local local uh, uh, paths. So that's why I, I just prefer the uh, network path so that I don't have to update the individual systems. I can just update it on one location that will be accessible for all the nodes. Um, yeah. So this is job resource type is set to core. So okay, the, the number of cores again you can mention here. I, I'm going to use maximum 10 cores. And if you want to redirect your standard outputs and uh, in, uh, any other input files, if your application needs any uh, input from a file, then yeah, you can specify all those here, the standard output locations. So otherwise everything, uh, the uh, HPC will assume that everything will be written back to the uh, working directory. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it blank so that I just get the output by default in the PC cells default location. So this is done. So just add the command here. So our command is by a, I'll just copy this. Okay. Just a by our robots dot exe. So this will execute this. I'll just say dot slash by our robots dot exe. So this what this particular task will do is it will execute the biorobot.exe from this particular folder and it will utilize maximum 10 can use up to maximum 10 cores okay let's click so this is the job description so what i want to do is i want to make sure every time i uh, run this task i want to make sure the previous job uh, uh, output files or any other logs uh, that uh, that has been created by a previous job uh, task that i just want to make sure that i do the cleanup before start this so that i i can uh, differentiate the results so i just going to add an another task so in this say i pre cleanup okay and this i'm going to use the 
by PC cells cleanup command. Let's say data cleanup. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's cleanup task. I will still say 10 CPUs, 10 cores. Sorry. So now this two tasks has been created, but as I just want this pre cleanup to be executed uh, before the uh, by a robot exe is executed so i'll set dependency here let's add groups first let's add this as one group and this as a second group move down so now this okay i'll add move down this one and this So now this is group one and this is group two. So we have added the cleanup task as a group one and clean up the, uh, the actual job as a robot's job as a group two. So now this should be fine. This should be first. The group one will be executed first. Going back to the resource selection. So if you leave it, it will uh, mostly uh, automatically select the course, but I will make want to make sure I'm running this on a specific node so i'm going to select hpc 01 and 02 so that i can replace this all four eight cores and the hardware uh, other uh, minimum if you want to restrict it set any limits for a memory or course you can submit but select from here as well for a specific nodes but i'm just going to leave it to default uh, license no, no, i don't need any license to execute physics cells if you application needs any license you can add here this application detail and i don't need any additional variables so yeah i'm, I'm just going to need uh, additional parameters blank just submit this job so you once as soon as you click submit it's going to run the job uh, so make sure you you got all the points uh, all the things are correct let's submit and give a try your task details yep the pre-task has been completed the pre-cleanup has completed you can see the results the output of standard output of the particular job so this is the job we executed this is the command line that we ran and allocated nodes these are the two nodes allocated to it and, and let's see this this one is currently running so we will see the output once it is completed so this is the command it is running and it is running on the two nodes, eight cores. Okay, so for now, let's wait for the job to complete. So you can see the job status. It's since we had two tasks, one is completed, so it is 50% completed, and the other one is in progress. So I expect it a couple of minutes to complete. So one is running. Okay, both the tasks are completed. View tasks, yes. See, now you can see the robot execution outputs. So, it took five minutes, twenty-three seconds to execute. Okay. Let's it's completed and let's view the output. Yes, there's outputs created. Yes, yes, this final output. Yeah, you can see this one. So you can copy this job again and edit edit resubmit with changes if you want to do some changes change the resource selections anything or if you want to run it on only one node you can submit it change everything and submit it a new job or you can export this job as xml and import it in another system or keep save it for a later activity logs job started on HPC 01, HPC 02 and it's job finished. Yeah, so it looks good. 
yeah that's all for this video thank you thanks for watching